passing us now is uh, the is the mayor of Midland, mayor Jim of Downer. Midland, there he is, waving to the crowd. Vehicle donated by Stonely Motors, and the car yes. is driven by another Civitan, Debbie Jeff. Alrighty, on our screen now we have the Georgian College Midland Campus uh, Skilled Trade Center. They're collecting toys this year along the play, uh, parade route to make sure all the kids have a Christmas to remember. That's excellent. And in behind them. We're now looking at the 724 Midland Lions Air Cadets. Uh, they're marching with their flag party. Keeping nice and warm, yes, keeping time for the music. Absolutely. And in behind them, you can see uh, it looked like chickens for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Are those chickens? <laughs> So in behind we have the fourth Midland Guides. Here there they are they right are now. Their play. The member of Girl Guides of Canada. Singing some Christmas tunes for us as they march down the street. Alrighty, and in behind them. Oh, that's what, they're not chickens. <laughs> it's St. <laughs> Teresa's High School, it's the thunder. <laughs> there we go. There we are, and, I see. Yeah, and they are singing as well. Lots of school spirit there, you can see. A little bit of Christmas spirit mixed in with the school spirit. Exactly. I wonder if that is uh, one of the dogs from the <laughs> obedience club because I, talk I, so I, I don't think he's been very obedient. Oh, listen to them. <laughs> and there they go, chanting away. Right, just passing us was the um, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, their float. Nope, that's the Midland Wise Men's Club. Oh, it is indeed. A nice band on there playing away, playing some Christmas tunes. Now the Midland Wise Men's Club is going to be hosting their annual lip sync contest coming up February 27th. And they're challenging all the other service clubs, community organizations, and local businesses to either enter a team and join the friendly competition and if you are uh, looking to get involved you can contact Paul Northcott Twisted Pine Music at gmail.com Perfect. The neat thing is all the uh, proceeds go to support the uh, the Wise Men Festival. It's been going on here in Midland for a long time. Started in 45. It's in its 64th year. Wow. There's a nice shot of the crowd there. The little one's out. Waving away to the crowd. And up next is Bruce Stanton, MP. Our member of parliament. Oh, he's got the same mittens as I. <laughs> he does have the same mittens as you. They look nice and warm. Alrighty, here we have the Remax Briefcase Precision Drill Team. This is always a crowd pleaser. This is a crowd pleaser. <laughs> well, he's in precision. <laughs> he sure is. Yep. Okay, you're the group. The Here yeah. they come.
Rogers TV can produce quality advertising that reaches your target audience and achieves your marketing goals. Rogers TV offers a large variety of local television programs to choose from and packages to reach your desired demographic. Invest in your business and community with Rogers TV. Welcome back to the 2009 Midland Civitan Santa Claus Parade. We are watching the uh, Penetang Machine Fire Department coming down the street. They are coming down the street. And for a good reason. It is the Santa Claus Parade, and they're helping escort the big guy into the town of Midland. Of course. He needs a little extra help getting around here. Right. With Midland and Penetang Machine being so close, it's nice to know that the uh, Midland and uh, Penetang Machine Fire Departments also work together. Especially when it's even when it's just getting Santa Claus into town. Exactly. Everybody works as a team. Uh, Alrighty, let's go see uh, Meredith, and uh, I think she's got another guest down there. Yes, thank you so much, ladies. I am joined with Sam and Nikki this time. Guys, how are you enjoying the parade so far? Good. Yeah, you're having lots of fun? Yeah. Fantastic. Now, what has been your favorite float so far? That boat with the things on it. Yeah, the boat was pretty cool. How about you? Uh, yeah, the same thing. Same thing, we think alike. Now, I have to ask, what's on top of the Christmas list this year? What is the one thing that you really need Santa Claus to bring you? The hairless guinea pig. A hairless guinea pig? What made you come up with that? Well, I went to a store, and I went to a pet shop, and I found a hairless guinea pig, so I want it for Christmas. Perfect. How about you? What are you asking for? A puppy. A puppy? That's a little bit more normal than a hairless guinea pig, I think. Well, hopefully Santa can get that for you guys. We're going to check back in with Carrie and Elizabeth. Thanks, Meredith. <laughs> Boy, people wanting livestock for Christmas. Livestock, yeah, yes. Puppies I mean, and hairless guinea never pigs. Know. All right, we're getting a good look at the Penetang Machine Fire Department antique fire truck. How cool is that? And there's a little guy in there. You can see him having a good time. With his fireman's helmet on. Yes. And uh, we have firefighters walking alongside, throwing out some uh, candies to the kids. There's some. They got a nice seat there on the curb. Oh, the, the siren must be a little loud for that <laughs> little one. A little too loud there. I love to hear the old uh, fire oh, I engine. know. Yes. Now you'd think that that was a fire truck because it's making a noise. I know, but um... <laughs> we're just waiting to see. We think it might be uh, the relay for life, the Canadian Cancer Society. Yes, but we have to get a good look at it here to see. That is the relay for life. And uh, thank you to Leon Tilton Load for donating the uh, the truck this afternoon. Uh, and they're working with the Penetang Fire Department as well, following behind their uh, truck and pickup truck. They're very loud. car decorated behind them. Merry Christmas. That's right. Their staff and uh, some of the boys and girls from the club are enjoying the parade with their family and friends and the theme is a family of friends. Excellent. Oh, there's Snoopy. Always a crowd favorite. Oh my, <laughs> what's he doing to that little girl? <laughs> oh. That guy. Snoopy's just full of tricks. <laughs> he is full of tricks today. Oh, and there's that van again, nicely decorated. I would imagine some of the boys and girls from the club actually made the... Uh, do you remember those paper chains? I sure oh, do, yep. Yeah, pull one off until it gets to Christmas. There's the boys and girls club logo. Excellent. Some of these staff from the Boys and Girls Club. Well, it looks like 
like we have the uh, maybe the Georgian Bay Snow Rider. It could be. It could be. Coming up to see here. Oh, no, this is the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of North Central. Okay. Truck donated by Rona of Midland. They're currently accepting applications for volunteer positions in one of their many programs. They have 36 kids participating in the big bunches, and they require a one-to-one -one match. You can share a little magic if you have a little bit of time. And there's a guy everybody will everybody recognize. Everybody knows him. That's rude, shaking his fist, bah humbug. Not wanting to get out of bed today. Now here, this is a great group. This is the uh, Huronia Centennial Elementary School Band. Uh, they march in about 20 parades a year, and they've been performing in the Midland Santa Claus Parade for 24 years now, and they're actually celebrating 41 years of operation this year. Wow, 41 yeah. years. Look at those outfits, too, brightly colored. And, and it, you know, it's not great. very often that, a, that an elementary school can actually get together a marching band. You're absolutely right. All the instruments and, yeah. and outfits. So. And I mean, music in today is so important for young children, and... They look like they're having a great time. Alrighty, we're getting a shot now of uh, the mayor of Kay Township, Lisa Carr, provided by Don Wright Motors and it's driven by Civitan Sarah Fry. You can just see an arm waving at Yeah, that's like a, not worn on the arm out there. Yeah. <laughs> getting a look at our very next float, <laughs> which you can tell by the bowling you pins that are walking tell. down the street that this That's is the, the Bayshore Lane float. Thanks to Ed Brabant Construction for the donation of the uh, tractor trailer, the truck and the trailer. And a special thanks going out to all the YBC parents and kids that helped with decorating the float and making it happen this year. And you can see some of the items that they have, some of the services and yeah. programs they have at the Bayshore Lane birthday parties. And they're having a nice Christmas dinner on the float. <laughs> okay. Following in behind, we have the Civitan Pioneer Ladies from the Midland Civitan Club. And I could use one of their uh, muffs there they have. They look very warm. <laughs> they do look warm. And our walking ladies, Ms. Eileen Zumak, Ms. Christine Zumak, Ms. Mary Sautal, and Ms. Kathy Zumak. Excellent. Now, following in behind them is a, is a really unique organization. It's in Grandmother's Hands of Huronia. Uh, now, there are one of over 200 grandmother groups across Canada supporting the Stephen, Stephen Lewis Foundation due to the HIV AIDS ap epidemic in Africa. The African grandmother's children have uh, become a lost generation, and these grandmothers um, have had to step in and take the place of the parents. That is a great organization, and I shot there the sign coming by. Now, we are getting a great shot of a tractor, a farm tractor, uh, with a trailer. This is Huronia Alarm, and um, the tractor is provided to them by Huronia Nurseries, and their theme this year is Support Your Troops. Support Our Troops. Looks like they as well are having a Christmas dinner there at the table. Playing a little piano, perhaps, back there. Uh, yeah. And the troops are in the very back. 
Thank you to our troops. Oh, here we have Jane and Garfield Dunlop. Garfield is Simcoe North MPP. Looks festive in his red sweater there. We to the crowd. And uh, following in behind him will be uh, a vehicle provided by Tom Smith. And here we have the Midland Fire Department. You can see Sparky the Fire Dog on top of the uh, that fire right. department. And we're just waiting for Garfield and Jane to, to make stop their by way over here <laughs> to us. Hi. Hi, Carrie. How you doing? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Garfield. Merry Christmas, Jane. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and there's the support vehicle donated by Tom Smith. Right behind him. <coughs> oh, I think I hear another fire truck. That's I it. I think we hear the Midland Fire Department. Lights and sirens. And this year, the, the uh, Midland firefighters, the volunteer firefighters, will be accepting food donations along the parade route to support our local food bank. Really important, uh, this year, food bank use has spiked 19% right across the province. No wow. different here in Midland. So no. the Salvation Army can definitely uh, use the support of anyone who brought a little bit of uh, non-perishable food items to the parade route. Looks like they have one of their Dalmatian dogs sitting on top there, watching, uh, watching out into the crowd. Watching all the kids, making sure they're being fire safe. Exactly. Nope. Now that doesn't look like a fireman. I'm thinking they have some extra people on the fire trucks this year. I think you're right about that, Carrie. Maybe a future volunteer firefighter. Yes, Maybe a could future. be. It's always nice to see the fire trucks out and about when you don't need them. You're right. Pumper one, it's their brand new pumper. And the support vehicle coming in behind. And you can also see some firefighters there in their uniforms. Not sure if they're handing out anything, but uh, reminding people of fire safety, I'm sure. Picking up some food items and handing out some food items. Exactly. It's kind of a trade-off. A trade-off. There. there we go. Okay, and I think Meredith has another guest for us down there. Meredith? Yes, thank you guys. I am joined by one of our very, very tall firefighters. What's your name, sir? It's Kyle. Kyle, and you guys are collecting non-perishable food items today, too, in the parade, correct? Yes, that's right. Perfect. So people can uh, just throw whatever they've got on the back of any of your trucks that you've got going on here? Yeah, that's true. That's, and, uh, we have a drop-off at the fire department, too, as well, when the parade's over. Perfect. So uh, any non-perishable food items to help out any of our local food banks, thank you so much for your time. You. Back to you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Meredith. Thank you very much. Like I said, definitely needed. So if you uh, didn't get your food item picked up along the parade route, please feel free to drop it back off at the fire hall. Oh, Sparky the fire dog. There he is. There he is in person, shaking hands. Meeting and greeting the kids. Well, she, she was smiling. Oh, she seemed excited. very happy. Yeah. yeah, you can see her jumping up and down there. Let's see this next. Oh. Oh, my little hand there coming out.
Well, just in behind the uh, the Midland Fire Department, we have um, the Hammond Transportation 104.1, the dock. Here they there are. There it is. That'd be nice and warm in there. I can see, mm. yeah, 